So I today would like to talk to you about the new catalogue. I really do hope everyone has seen a catalogue. Uh, it is very exciting. I got mine um, a month early, as you do as a demonstrator, which is um, a great thing if you don't like to miss out on things to get your uh, catalogue early. Um, good for that part of Florida. Well, that's great. Enjoy. <laughs> um, but I must admit, I only got my goods that I pre-ordered due to COVID one day before the annual catalogue was released. Um, so I haven't had much of a chance to play. So I've really only just seen a lot of this stuff as, as soon as a lot of other people have. So, But it is amazing. So today I have got my, my colourful top on, which I think matches the pink in the new catalogue. And I've dressed up to match. I do like pink. I do like the um, magnetic pink, but this one is very bright. But let's turn over. I will turn everyone over. And hopefully there's no goats in the garden when I flip you over today. Uh, now, why is that not gone over? I'm not having a very good... There we go. No goats in the garden. And we're not having rain, so that's fantastic. And if you just close your eyes for a moment. There we go. And I'll pop you in here. So all good so far. I'm looking at my looking at my tablet and it seems to seems to be working. Yay. So I will be able to answer and see who's online. So fantastic. Right. So the catalogue. Isn't this just gorgeous? Um, I'm assuming you've all had a wee look through it. Um, I have just seen stuff live. I must admit, I don't know if you're the same. I find that actually seeing the stuff is a lot different to looking in the catalog. Um, and what I'm going to be using today is one of the, the things in, in case of in point, um, some papers. Um, so I just wanted to go over the colors just in case some of you haven't seen them yet. And hi, Sharon. Look, this is great. I can see who comes on. Now, the new in colors. We are going to go to page 10. This suite, Flowers for Every Season, utilizes all the new in colors. So the in colors are Just Jade, a lovely green color, and Bumblebee. I like Bumblebee, um, obviously, stamping bees. You love the new colors? They're great, yeah, aren't they, aren't they beautiful? And the pink, this is Magneta Madness. And as I say, look, even my nails, I've got all pink today. I do like pink, um, I'm a pink girl. And this is a Misty Moonlight, which just looks a little bit like um, denim. Um, it's a sort of a denim-y color. Um, which is lovely as well, especially for those masculine cards, but it's a, it's a lovely blue. Um, so that suite for flowers for every season really incorporates the uh, DSP or designer series paper, incorporates every color and this paper. Oh, I forgot one more card. Who knows what I've missed? It blends in with my tabletop. This is a cinnamon cider. Isn't that amazing? Such a different brown to what we've got. Cinnamon cider sounds delicious. Um, so, as I say, this this DSP uh, flowers for every season is incorporates all the new colours. So this is even much much nicer than in the catalogue because you can see it in the catalogue it is beautiful. But when I saw this in person, I just fell in love with it. I mean, look at that! Isn't that beautiful? I made a card with that one, and we're going to be doing something very similar today. Um, this is the card that I made um, with this one, which I put up online. And we're going to be using some of the other designer series paper today. Uh, but just look at that. It's just so delicate and so soft. I just love it. Um, so that was that paper. But so one side of these papers have floral, um, except for this one, which has um, stripes. So these are all the in colors, as I say. So absolutely beautiful. 
and then on the reverse side, look how many you get. Actually, I'll look and tell you how many there are. There are, memory some more, you get designer series paper, six by six, and it doesn't tell you how many. There is a lot, there is a lot in here. Um, but see, the, the reverse side has some really, some um, more straightforward geometric patterns, except for this one, it has beautiful sunflowers. Um, on the reverse as well. So all in the in colours. And I love flowers, I must admit. I do like flowers. Okay. As I said, we're going to make something very similar to this one this time, but we're going to be using a different, um, a different piece of the designer series paper. So I've just got the standard uh, base with thick whisper white and that is cut at uh, 10 and a half and 14.8 and scored at 10 and a half and that's in centimeters sorry I don't know if some of you I know are um, inches in America etc um, so that's what the base will be today um, and I have used this beautiful um, embossing folder this is from the forever greenery 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 suite um, which is lovely there's two there's one with just leaves top and bottom and then there's this leaf pattern that runs through and I have used so this is the paper that we're using today this gorgeous one here so this has some flower and daisies and I wanted to use the just jade paper with that so I am going to use a white base. I could put this directly on my card, but I don't know about um, anybody out there, but I'm actually prone to making mistakes on my card base and then I have to start again. So I find I like to work on a mat um, before I then put that on the card. Uh, it's just something that I that I like to do. I don't know about you guys out there. Do you prefer to work on a mat or do you make your cards directly directly on the base at times. I do sometimes, but not very often. So this is just cut at, oh, I can tell you what it is in inches too, uh, nine and a half and 14.8, or let me see what that is in inches. That is five and a, oh, five and three quarters, sorry. Five and three quarters and three and three quarters inches. So I'm just gonna be working on that. So, I think Sharon, you um, did my class yesterday where I made a very similar card. I'm just with you. I'm just, did I make this card with you? No, I didn't. I made something else with you. That's right. Um, short term memory, that, as they say. So I'm just going to run a bit of glue. So I just wanted this to go the full width of the card. I must admit, I wanted to run across just for something a little bit different with the matting top and bottom, but also using the matting as a bit more of a feature. So I'm, I find the best thing with popping something like this on is you run a thin line on your designer series paper, but don't run it too close to the edge because when you pop it on, the glue will just ooze out the top, unfortunately, or bottom, wherever it is. But um, So it's much easier to just put it close to the edge but not all the way and then just run it down and I find it easier then to get that on nice and straight doing it that way and then I'll do the other side and then you can check actually if it's straight which it should be oops okay and just run that along again So I just really wanted to um, utilize some more of this paper and to make something with this beautiful green. And I do love sunflowers. They're my husband's favorite card. Favorite card, favorite flower. I'm trying to think of too many things at once here. Okay, now I am just going to glue that on. So this is how, I just wanted to run through this. I had lots of comments about my other cards. So I just thought it would be quite good to show you how quick and simple it is to make this card. And you can use basically any papers um, down the middle like this, any whether it be flower or not, and just coordinate the colors. 
Now, I think I've um, said a few times, um, if you look on the back of your um, DSP paper, which I haven't got the covering it comes in, especially the 12 by 12, the big ones, it always tells you on the back what colors are incorporated in making the colors. Obviously, this one is all the in colors, um, but you can always coordinate with cardstock if you um, just read that on the back. Um, which is fantastic to you know often. So I wanted to do a daisy again. Uh, I am going to put a sunflower on the inside, but I just wanted to do a daisy. So I have just used the large punch, the large daisy punch. And the next, there is a size down that is medium. And I just cut out two. It's nice and sunny out there today. We've been working on putting the topsail down and um, metal and things to finish tidying up the driveway. It just is so amazing to be able to drive in now. Right, so what I've done next is I have used a um, Stampin' Blend and I've used the Dark Daffodil Delight, which is nice and bright. I just wanted to put some, I don't have anything with the Bumblebee, but because these are shaded, you can actually um, use incorporate some other yellows as well. So I have just run this down the tip like this. Oh, you can hear Amelia, yeah, she's outside running around. We're just using the front part of our house so much now with the, uh, with the um, deck, the deck, the, the driveway. Gosh, I'm getting all my words mixed up today. And Elliot, my son, has just had a friend over to stay and he's just, his parents have just picked him up. So, oh, action. I did have to tell them to stop um, shooting baskets though because I didn't think thump, 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 bang, bang, bang would be... Uh, very conducive to video making. So I'm just running just a little bit of yellow with the thick part of the blend, like the paintbrush end, and just running it down the tip. Just to blend in with the yellow there. And then I am going to pop a bit of glue in the middle there. Not too much, because once again, you don't want to ooze that out. Oops. I love daisies. I love this daisy, these daisy punches as well. They just make it super easy to make beautiful, quick daisies. So I will just pull these up a little bit. There we go. And then the other thing I wanted to do was to make the centre. So I have used, so this is the, this is the um, Celebrate Sunflowers. I'll be using that stamp in a moment. But what I did was I just used this daisy image from in here just to get, I wanted to get the centre. So, and I like the centre being patterned. So I have used the large daisy and the soft suede. And I have just stamped that off. I didn't want it too dark. And then I have just, pop that to one side, just used the daffodil, uh, del no actually I didn't use the daffodil delight on this one. Let's put this ink pad away. I can hear Sharon saying, oh, watch that ink pad. Um, I use So Saffron for this one. And just colored in. There we go. And I did add just a tiny bit of shading. So I have used um, light grey granite just to add a little bit of shading here. And I have also just run a line around the outside with the grey granite just because when I cut it out I don't want white, don't want the white bits. 
So that's just a good hint for anything that you actually um, cut out. If you don't want, if you want, don't want a white edge, um, just run your blend around the outside, and that will stop you getting the white edge. <laughs> They're outside laughing. Okay, and I will just run in with this as well and colour the edge a bit. Hi, Linda, how are you? I was saying at the beginning to everybody, I've given up on my other device. I went out this week and I bought a tablet. And, oh, wow, this is super easy now. I am being able to watch it um, just like this. Easy peasy. Um, right in front of me, um, getting all the comments. And I hate missing anyone. I hate not saying hi. Um, I do appreciate absolutely everyone coming on and um, watching. Right. So this is just my centerpiece. Cut that out and I'm just going to pop that on there. And then the other thing I wanted to, the other thing I wanted to do was use the sunflower out of the, this is the sunflower out of the new Celebrate Sunflowers. This is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I have seen so many beautiful things made with this set already. Um, it is stunning. So this is part of the um, Celebrate with Flowers. It's a sweet, um, yeah, it's just working absolutely. And my camera's on an Archon Stan Linda. Yes, it is. I feel I'm getting really um, professional now with all my bits and pieces. <laughs> um, so this sunflower is part of the sweet flowers for every season. Um, it comes with um, two parts to it, the sunflowers and the jar of flowers. Um, and you can buy the th everything on here for one number, one, one, um, one reference for the whole thing with the papers, the dies, the um, both stamp sets, etc. Um, which makes it so easy. Or you can buy them separately. I've bought the papers and the sunflower for now. I had to be... You know, couldn't get everything all at once. I had to, had to pace myself. So, but I did think I'd, I would show you this stamp. And just going to stamp it off. And we're going to colour this a little bit. And I'm going to put this on the inside. So, I'm just using some yellows. And yeah, pop that over there. Make sure I've got everything. Yeah. So I'm going to start off with so saffron, and I'm just going to color. Start off with just coloring the leaves. Back to using my blends. I haven't got anything other than the paper in the new colours yet. I have ordered the blends, of course. Um, goes without saying. Um, and the ink pads. So I'm really excited to see those when they come. So I've started off with the Light So Saffron. And now I'm just going in with a bit of the Darker So Saffron. Now I don't, I don't do too many at once. It, oops. My, I need to get another one of these. It's um, coming out a bit at that end. Too much use. My blends get too much use, I think. That's the trouble. They are such an amazing colouring tool. I just love them. Um, and a bit of dark. And then I just wanted to add just a little bit of brightness to that as well. 
but I've just gone in with a little bit of the dark daffodil to delight just to add that bit of brightness to that that bright yellow and the leaves I have done this is dark soft sea foam I've just gone over that a little bit with this I'm trying to get because I don't have jade I was trying to get as close to that as possible with the combination and then I've gone in with um, light old olive actually just to bring out a bit more green just trying to emulate these leaves just a little bit without the color having the right colors and the middle of course I have got my two uh, dark and light soft suede so I'm going to do the center a bit darker and the stamps just make it so easy though um, it's already got the stippling in there I'm just going in just a little bit with the dark one and around the edge just find the stamps are just so accurate so um, not accurate what's the word so hmm clear there is a word tell me the word precise no something like that and last thing I'm just going to add a few dots a few extra dots and now I will use the die there is the die to match in here which is out on oh, this one one, this one that's floating around and I have obviously die cut it because I don't like to put my big um, die machine on here to cut it out though when we get the little one um, when they become available I will uh, be able to do more that sort of thing more on the table not won't wiggle and jiggle everything around so that is for the inside and then I thought I would stamp and I actually put that quite close to the bottom so I'm hoping that this works okay I am using cherished friend this stamp set is just stunning I don't know if you've seen it cling stamp set lovely you look at this beautiful um, script on these words absolutely stunning um, just because always heartfelt mildly grateful there is so many beautiful um, sentiment and these gorgeous little flowers I just love this I have already used it quite a bit and I'm sure I'll be continuing to use it quite a bit so I have got out with this crushed curry which um, I tried a few options and this was the closest and I have actually I am going to have to cut that out now because I was supposed to glue that on a bit higher but that's all right it doesn't matter I will do this one different and actually really enjoying um, doing the cutting around the letters. At first, when I first saw that uh, trend, I thought, oh, looks a bit messy, but I actually really, really like it now. I um, hope it works with the white, but it is so quick and easy. And this says, cherished friend, isn't that just gorgeous? Beautiful saying. And so when you do this, you're just following following the letters around the pattern that they make. Don't cut off the eye though. And this works really well, I think, too, with um, 
black paper with white embossed. You enjoy that trend too. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? And, oops, I've got a... There we go. So I could actually put it... I could put it here this time. Um, I think I do prefer it on the on the white, but we're going to have to be different today. So I'll put the flower on first. Okay, so I'm just going to use a dimensional. Now, what have I forgotten? Oh, I don't know. In one of those days, must be, must be um, too much of the spray for the for the fence. I am putting on here this new um, gold thread that comes with the Forever Greenery set. And Sharon, um, one of my friends who came to my class yesterday, I don't know if you've noticed, it really does um, split quite quickly. This thread, which is um, fantastic if you want want that look but if you don't what you can do is just put a little um, knot in the end and that will stop it that will stop it from fraying but it is a beautiful gold shimmery a gold shimmery thread and I'll get my ribbon scissors I'm just going to wrap this around about three times. Yeah. Any room to tie a knot. It does, it does split quite quickly, but... These nails are good, but not good for tying delicate knots. There we go. Just trim the end. Make sure it's nice and firm. do a bow. I'm not too worried if it does go a little bit loose because I'm going to put the dimensionals on the back. Yes, it's all matching, Linda. My top and my nails, my lipstick, everything is all matching. Matching the new pink, though I don't think any of my pinks are quite that bright, but I am a pink girl. And I do like Magneta, um, the Magneta colour with the purple base, I must admit. It is one of my favourites, but that is quite bright, the one that we have. I'm just trying to get this bow. Goodness me, struggling a bit today with my bow. Trying to get it down before, I don't want to pull the, pull the end out. Yeah, I'm not being kind to me. There we are. Done. Magneta Madness, it's appropriate for me, isn't it? I'm sure you would agree, Linda. It's appropriate. Yeah, my favourite colour too, Linda. Definitely my favourite colour. Right. So, I've got those tight and I'll just make those a bit smaller. Now it's being a bit kinder to me. And do you know what I've done now? Oh, I'm just going to have to turn it all around. That's all right. I'll put the flower down the other end this time because the bow should be down here. So, but, you know, that really doesn't matter. I can adapt um, and put it down the other end. Right. Where am I with my dimensionals? I haven't got one in the middle. Got to have one in the middle. Okay. Right. 
All right, let's pop this on. And we will pop our, now I'll pop my flower on. Still a bit of sticky there, let's see. Could still put it there. Be different. There we go. And now I will pop. Now these are from the dies and the sunflower dies. Um, they sort of look a bit like like corn flowers or um, something similar. Um, I don't know if you can see it through there. So I thought I'd just cut some of those out as well with the in with the new in colours. So this is just jade and this is bumblebee. So I'm just going to slip a couple of those under. But you really, this um, designer series paper is just beautiful. Um, I'm not too worried if it goes off, off, the, oh, off the page. Gosh, whoopsie day today. There we go. And I'll put a green one. So as I say, it's a quick and easy card. Easy to, to whip one of these up if you have forgotten someone's um, birthday or something like that. And you need to get a card. Just the papers themselves really just are beautiful. I just love them. So, what is everyone's first set that they bought or buying from the, I might trim this one down a bit, from the new catalogue, or what is the one they think they like the most? feel I can chat to people now um, with my new tablet and one more Z zany zebras well wow, you'll never guess whoever was here last time will laugh I have already <laughs> bought the goat one <laughs> so similar to the zany zebras the, the goats I just thought it was very appropriate actually um, to get to the goat um, stamp set but those zany zebras are very cute very very cute now let me see where am I going to put this I might put that there and some dimensionals they are there's some very cute stamp sets in the catalogue So don't always have to stick to the one design. Right, what I thought I would do is um, these are the new uh, enamel dots that are in the in colours as well. You had to buy the goats. <laughs> yeah, the animal goats and the Forever Fern. Yeah, I love how the Forever, Forever Fern stamps. It just stamps so beautifully. Okay, so... Now I will put some of these on as well. Thing is, we've got the yellow theme going on. And put one. Yep. Oops. That didn't want to leave me, that one. And... One more. Come on, off you come. Put that one up there, I think. And I am going to put in, oh, thank you, Sharon. 
the sunflower I'm just going to glue that in I could have stamped it directly but um, I didn't want the blends to um, leak through uh, the, to the back of the card so I thought I would just just use the um, die and cut it out do it separate there we go so that is the one using jade and the new embossing folder for the strips and this is the pink one so they ended up a little bit different because I put things around the wrong way and didn't leave enough room etc so I hope you enjoyed and I hope you get the um, designer series paper it really is a beautiful um, I do love it and I do love these gorgeous in colors so I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for coming and I'm just so excited that I can actually see everyone chatting to me um, you might have to convince me to get the bundle I know you didn't probably didn't see the paper Linda it is absolutely beautiful um, the colors are stunning I just just love it it is beautiful so take care everyone have a lovely evening thank you so much for coming and see you again next week bye